Okay, um, the next person uh, runner up is Cosmos for let's give us your your number one go to boost. Okay, my number one is vision, which I have recently well about a week or so ago, I added circulation and oxygen to it. And there are others, but I'll leave room but vision will never come off. It's my top of the list. And that's awesome. it. Hey, awesome. And Cosmos and, and anybody else that's sharing with us. Tell us your name and where you're uh, coming in from. Okay, I'm Cosmos Paris, and I am living in Jamaica on the North Coast. Best place to be. Awesome. Thank you, Cosmos. There we go. Let's get over to Gina Buck. Let us know uh, who you are, where you're from, and your favorite boost. Well, you said it. I'm Gina Buck, and I'm from Northwest Indiana. My favorite boost is probably the pain. And that's because I had that massive surgery 16 plus months ago and a, an additional big surgery in January and it has taken away all of the surgical pain. Not to mention when I overdo, now that I'm feeling energetic and feeling more up to doing stuff again, I put the pain relief on if I start to get achy or if things are starting to hurt a bit. I've always had arthritic, arthritic problems and stuff like that. So that really is probably my one that I'm always going to fall back on no matter what. So that's my favorite. Awesome, Congra Gina. Congratulations, Gina. That's awesome. And you're looking terrific. Thank you. There sure is. And the next person up is, oh, well, I guess it's me. Um, and I'm going to give it real quick. My name is Carl Hobelson, Great White North, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And my go-to is actually a combo. It's pain, inflammation, and stress, which has literally chilled me out um so that's my go-to without that i am the biggest pain in the you know what so um as long as i have that on everybody's gonna like me <laughs> that's so next, that's my favorite boost for carl as well <laughs> that's, that's <laughs> <for me. laughs> there you go uh next let's go over to michelle let us know uh your full name where you're from and your favorite boost Hi everyone, can you hear me okay, Carl? Yeah. My name's Michelle Grode. I'm from Las Vegas, Nevada, and I have a lot of really, I love all the boosts, well, what I've tried, but my favorite has got to be Calm, because I can turn into a raging, nasty biatch, <laughs> and um, I start to get a little irritable, It's and it's really, it's, it's, before calm, I got into quite a lot of trouble. You know, I just really didn't have a lot of control. So now I turn on calm, and within the first time, it probably took about 10 to 15 minutes to finally start to feel a little bit better. And then by the hour, I was just like, "Woo, yeah, this is cool. Why was I so angry? You know, it's just wild. Now I turn it on, and within minutes, I'm just like, yeah, it takes me out of my stressful environment and I just kind of start to see things for the way they really are. So can't say enough about it. Thanks for letting me share, guys. Excellent. Awesome. Thank you, Michelle. And, nice. and I know and I notice your animals come around you a lot more when you're on calm as well. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, next up we have AL Given from Israel. Come on, let us know what your favorite boost is. Hello everyone, my name is Eyal Givon, I'm from Israel. I'm a baby in this, uh, <laughs> in this uh, quantum uh, lab. Uh, only, I think, three days or four days. And uh, my first boost was uh, actually pain because all of my uh, uh, quantity of uh, issues, medical issues I have. Uh, one a girlfriend of mine called me a walking Harrison. If you know what is a Harrison, Harrison is the Bible of Imperial Medicine. So I'm a walking Harrison. So um, I started with pain, and uh, today I consult with uh, the friend that introduced me the the. Um, uh, the system, the product, and uh, I came in because I have a lot of uh, uh, cardiovascular issues. Uh, I have uh, 
uh, ICD, it's an uh, implanted uh, defibrillator and other heart diseases. And then I was talking to Carl that I want to quit uh, smoking. Uh, and he started to, he told me in three days I will quit. So he's on the way, almost right. Um, so uh, here's my pack of cigarettes. So in the morning, actually early in the morning, after the second uh, webinar, I change uh, one, I create another boost that's called uh, cardiovascular and uh, smoking quit. I combine them together. I copy and match uh, together the list. So I have it. It's a big list. And here I have my box of cigarettes. Usually, at this time of the hour of the day, it's uh, 10, 15 p.m., I finish a box of it, a box of 20. I have here uh, 14 cigarettes. And, uh, That's great. And the most uh, uh, interesting thing is when I set up the boost in the morning, I'm excited. I think uh, half an hour or something like that, my first cigarette I take after setting up the boost, I couldn't finish a cigarette. Half wow. a cigarette I throw away. Wow. I was blown up. I told you it won't take but you long. But I am still skeptic. Yeah, <laughs> just a little bit now. Yeah, awesome. I'm sorry. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for calling That's in Thank all you. the way from Israel. Beautiful. Thank you, Ayal. I'm the se I think I'm the second one or the third one in Israel. So wait to a wave. There yes. you go. Awesome. awesome. Hey, Carl. Let's let's do this for time's sake. Here's here's what we're gonna do, guys. Um, is we're also going to do be sharing this as well before uh, the Super Boost Saturday tomorrow with your call, Carl. Because okay. we're going to do the same format because it has to do with our booze, yep. has to do with what we're doing. So Makes we're going to have the same format where people can share what their what their favorite booze are on both uh, uh, Formula Friday and Super Boost Saturday. So um, we'll do this as well there. But just because of time sake. Um, yep. and, and all the things we need to cover today, Ron is, is ready to roll. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring um, our, our resident scientist up, which is Ron Spence. And Ron, um, I, there's some new people on here, Ron. And so I wanted just to uh, introduce you. Hey, Ron has been the CEO of one of the largest electronics firms. And, you know, when he was in his 30s, he was the CEO of an $8 billion company even back then. And, uh, and his health went, it got degraded. And so he started on his um, uh, quest to find out answers for his health uh, from a gal that was uh, 106 years young. And he's going to tell you the story. He, he shared it with us last night um, on, with his testimony. But um, before we start here, Ron, and just go into the formulas that you've been working on and for Formula Friday and Thank you guys, everyone, for sharing and having willingness to share, because that's how we learn from everybody. But before we start off with that, I just wanted to ask you something um, that's been going through our minds we, for the last several weeks, and that is there's other companies out there, Ron, that talk about um, you know, frequency-based uh, you know, things. I've heard of you know, stickers out there. I've heard of different um, types of, of things, but nothing like ours. So if you could just address, there's other companies out there that are trying to, to do that, this um, through frequencies and different things. Can you just address with, with us the difference between what we're doing with the quantum realm and what they're doing with frequencies and that kind of thing, Ron? You bet I'd be happy to do that. I want to make sure, do you, can you guys hear me okay? Yes, sir. Coming in loud and clear. Okay, good. Before we get started, though, I always like to let everybody know that the information that I share with you is commentary or opinion and is protected under free speech laws. And, and much of this information is based on my personal experiences as well as my interpretations of current science and is provided for educational and sometimes entertainment purposes. Uh, it is not intended as a substitute for professional advice of any kind, nor any of the products or services that are discussed intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. 
Having said that, let's get into, uh, you know, we're, we're, at, we're doing cutting edge stuff. This, for some people, this looks like Star Trek stuff. That's because we've evolved, we're at the cutting edge. These are cool things and, and they just plumb work at the end of the day. So we're gonna to try to help you understand why this stuff works. But let's answer the question that Bob just asked. Um, these are frequency things. Now, I've been, I want you to know that most of this stuff that Bob's talking about, I can show you I have it in my closet, okay? I have all this stuff. I've used it for years, I've tried it, and I've been down this path a long time, I understand it very well. And frequency products do have value, okay? They do have value, but they're not at the same level of where we are. And let me try to make, well, let's take a look, for example. The first exposure they had before any of these new modern frequency related products had cropped up, uh, Dr. Rife, Royal Rife, uh, came out with his Rife machines. And I, and I have one of those, I could, I could show it to you. It's pretty cool, it does work, but it has a very limited range. What it's designed to do is a frequency, he developed frequencies that disrupt the life forms of pathogens, and they work. Uh, but that's all it does. You can't create a formula out of it, you can't create anything like that. Take a look at the, the uh, in fact, it's really interesting. Dr. Cook and I had a conversation about this two years ago. And we sat down because I was talking to him about a company that had a holographic patch kind of system. And there's a bunch of those out there. They've been around for a while. Um, and, um, and that's when Dr. Cook says, well, Ron, why would you want to mess with anything like that? What I have is so much better. And of course, that's what you know, limped us off into uh, the Olympic arc, okay? But um, it would be like, for example, uh, I was, if we have time today, I wanted to share with you, particularly our, our friend here from Israel, a, a new formula that I've created. And, and it, 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 I've assembled it. The studies behind it were uh, uh, many, many years with thousands of people that came up with analyzing the nutraceutical portions of these. And I'll share that with you, but it has to do with heart and circulatory health. So we'll, we'll jump back in that. But th this ingredient, this formula has like 32 ingredients in it now. You have to understand and know you can't create this formula with frequencies. You just can't do that. See, frequencies are a subset of information. Information is all encompassing, it's everything. Frequency is a component or a subset of that. So it does have value, but it's limited value. You can't take a frequency and, like I said, create this heart and circulation health formula. It just doesn't work that way. So, um, so look, what I wanted to do, um, if I recall, Okay, uh, let, let's, let's jump into helping you understand, for especially new people, what's this all about? Okay, how, how is it that we're talking about information and you're selling information that you can't see, people are paying for it, and, and it's doing all these wonderful things to their health. How, how does that work? You, you have to understand that we are living in a world that we interpret as physical, that is not physical, okay? And, and, it, and I think what Dr. Cook did is brilliant and that he encompassed a number of models of technology together to make this work and because it addresses biology and chemistry, but it also entails how the mind works between the conscious and subconscious mind. And the reason why I picked up on this right away because I've been trained as a hypnotherapist years ago, and that's what we're taught, how the conscious and subconscious talk to each other. And then there's the quantum realm. Now, the quantum realm, it, it's, it, it seems to be mysterious, and it has its own set of laws, and it's probably 95% of our reality that we don't, that we don't uh, participate in, at least easily. And, and I've come to the conclusion what the quantum realm is, is this big genie in a bottle. But you have to know how to ask it and do these things to get the benefit from it. And what Dr. Cook put together here is a system that ties all this together along with a, what is called a biofeedback system, okay, which we call the spark scan. Now, I want you to know that, that my, favorite, my favorite boost is the personalized spark scan. In fact, it's like Christmas every 10 days for me. I get last night was, I got to do this last night, okay? for 10 days and I was so excited because you know what it does it's first of all it shows me because I can understand the ingredients what historically they're used for so I, I get a pretty good feeling what's going on in my body because it looks at the stuff that it wants to repair 
and, and I can tell you from over a period of time now, doing this for some time, that those things that used to be problematic for me, you know, many months ago, are not showing up in the radar anymore. And some of them still are, but they're less and less and they're dropping on the radar scale, if you will. And, and so that's real. And, and you know how I can tell? I just plumb feel better. You know, at the end of the day, I feel great. And it's because I'm using this. Now, you know, many of you know my testimony, but what the most significant part to me that's changed my life more than the ringing the ears or anything like that going well, but the ability for having asthma for 10 years progressively getting worse. And now I don't have that anymore. And I attribute that to that spark scan, not to personal info boost, not to something that I created or anybody else created that I used because my body's the one selected exactly what it wants and needs to solve that problem. And yeah, it took a number of months to accomplish that, but at the end of the day, I do not have the symptoms of that anymore. And it's just a wonderful thing to have something like that gone when it's been so problematic in your life. Now, let's get to the bottom of how this all works. I mean, here it is. We are providing you information. What is, Dr. Cook calls it uh, information corollaries of botanicals. You see, you have to understand that we first moved into the botanical market because everybody understands botanicals. Everybody knows that botanicals have value to the human frame, to, to our biology. So what Dr. Cook realized is that, and by the way, this didn't happen overnight. You know, he's been doing this over 30 years. He's done a lot of trial and error to make this thing work. Just like a Benjamin Franklin when he invented the, the light bulb. He, did you know that he, it took over a thousand different materials before he found the right material that made the incandescent light bulb? So this doesn't happen overnight. So here's what happens. Um, you, you look at a, a botanical, and when you look at the quantum realm, and you say the quantum world teaches us, when you, and I'm just giving the Cliff Note version here, the quantum world teaches us that we are all energy. Everything in our physical reality is not physical. In fact, all the tests show that we live in a quantum holographic universe, meaning that we're kind of like in the matrix. You know, we're, we're hologram energy, we're, we're spiritual intelligences occupying an experience in this hologram and it feels real to us okay and, and we've been limited for some reason giving a specific amount of skills for example we have five senses we have our, our human dna those are in fact being a computer guy uh our, our human dna is like the operating system of a computer so it allows us to interpret our five senses uh, allows us to experience our reality which is only 5% of the electromagnetic spectrum. The other 95%, we do not have skills to go into that realm. That, that's that quantumness, that's that quantum realm, okay? We're gonna talk about how exciting that is. But nevertheless, we know that through quantum science, that intelligence, that's who we are, acts upon the building plots, which are like electrons, photons, that act upon the quantum realm that gives us what we want, that creates our reality, that actually has impact on our health. And more and more people and scientists are starting to come around to the fact that this really does work. In fact, there's a new discipline over in, I think it's Denmark, Sweden, Europe. Uh, they, they, it's called a quantum biology. I'll have to find that, but it's amazing stuff. These, these are whole new programs coming out of the university talking about quantum biology and and the favorable impact it has on human biology. And, there, and, and this is kind of what we're already doing. We're already far down the path. They should come and knock at our door. But nevertheless, Dr. Cook made this simple by having uh, us participate in a program that allows everybody to experience this without having to be uh, an expert in quantum physics uh, or, or, or a, a hypnotherapist or uh, skilled in biology and chemistry. Uh, biofeedback, all these kinds of things. And he put this component together. My favorite thing, again, is the system's ability to select, help my body select what it wants and needs in a lot, what I call the health food store library, which is ever expanding every month. And, and my body now goes into that health food store, selects the information corollary to the botanical, and it gives that to me instantly. We don't charge you, it's free shipping. We can ship it to you anywhere in the world instantly. And it's something amazing. And people, as you've heard here, 
so many people have such great results with the technology, healing them for the first time. And, and a reason why, the reason why I believe this works the way it does for historically, you, you haven't had as much success is because, well, it's a number of reasons, okay? Number one, we learn through science that our bodies are loaded with toxins. Toxins block receptors. Receptors, if you don't have the nutrients going to the receptors to feed the cells, we don't get it. It's just like we're starving, okay? The other thing, if your digestion's not running on all eight cylinders, okay, and your microbiome's screwed up and everything, it affects everything, including your immune response and the ability to assimilate. So we have two areas right there that impact our assimilation. We have another when it's inflammation in the body actually blocks cellular receptors. All your toxins block it like drugs. And um, even, even nutrient competition, if you're eating things at the same time that share the same receptors, the first one it gets there blocks the others. So look at all the opportunities we have to not allow our body to get, we're starving at the cellular level. We don't even know what's causing and what's going on there. Okay, now fast forward to what we have. First of all, we have the ability to identify the fact that you are deficient in something or you have a nutraceutical that your body is identified as something it needs and wants to help it bring it back into balance. But we're talking about the energetic information. Why is that important? And why do I believe it's more important than even the botanical, the biochemical itself? Simply because the biochemical as many opportunities going the snail mail route, okay, of eating and, 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 and digestion and sending it to cellular receptors and handshaking, all that stuff, there's potential of a breakdown. And we know in our modern life, it, it's effective we're not having that handshake. But information is attracted to the same frequency process. Uh, if, if you don't know this, but at the end of every receptor at a cell, it actually has a honing device frequency. It sends it out, okay, and, and a botanical found in nature has a corresponding frequency that ties to that receptor. It's amazing technology how we're made, okay? So it actually finds its way to that receptor to handshake. The only thing is if there is toxins there, it'll block it. Or if there's inflammation at the cellular level, and we have a lot of that going on, it will block it, okay? So you can see how people can become deficient. Dr. Linus Pauling said, if you have a deficiency in any micronutrients or nutrients over a period of time, it always manifests in an illness and disease. An example, if you're lacking vitamin C over a period of time, you'll get something called scurvy. If you're lacking vitamin D over a period of time, you'll get something called rickets. And the list goes on and on and on for all the minerals. And so these are the things that we have an advantage. Now, how does this information impact you? Imagine now, you are, first of all, you're not who you think you are. And by the way, you're smarter than you think you are. We are, as intelligence, we communicate, whether we like to or not, to the quantum realm, to this 95% that we don't interface with easily. It's, it actually represents 95% of the electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, we don't participate in that. But in, in this mechanism, this is model that we have, um, we have the ability to communicate with the quantum realm and tell it what is it one, because we've learned through science that intelligence acts upon the building blocks of our physical and uh, energy material life. And here's what it is. If you emote negative emotions, if you emote, uh, and I use this example, if you're a victim thinking person, oh, woe is me, life hasn't treated me right, and, all these bad things always happen to me, you know. You know what happens? You just sent the message to the quantum realm that you're lacking, that you are a victim. And the quantum realm looks at this. It's, think of the quantum realm as this big genie in the bottle. And the big genie in the bottle says, oh, this intelligence over there, which we are commanded to obey, think of it that way, it says, oh, this guy likes this victimhood stuff. Oh, he's sending us a message. Man, he just loves this victimhood stuff. Hey, let's give him more of the same, okay? That's what we have to learn how to unprogram. The next thing, if you want to accomplish something in your life, you want to have great health, you want to have prosperity, and good things happen to your life, we have to think differently, okay? And here's the key. Uh, the key is we have to emote and in, in, envision in our life that we are enjoying something that we don't have. For example, you don't have good health. You have some 
type of label placed on it from the Western medicine that says you've got this, this, and this, okay? Uh, so what you don't want to do is ever go to the quantum realm or pray, oh, please fix this problem that I have or whatever. Help me. To, don't do that. Because remember, the quantum world looks at that and says, oh, they like having that. They like lacking that. They like that disease. So it gives them more of the same. What you have to do is actually focus on uh, that you, you have perfect health and you're enjoying this perfect health. You envision that perfect health, enjoying that. The quantum world looks at that intelligence and says, oh, that intelligence thinks that uh, they're having this perfect health and this is going wonderful, they're abundant. Oh, we better, we better incorporate and change these building blocks, these electrons to uh, uh, accomplish that and materialize an existence coming to you to do that as well as your health. It's all connected. We are creators. You know, when you look at, for let me give you a real good example here. You know, when, when uh, uh, the pharmaceutical industry does uh, studies, they always do this blind placebo thing, remember? And so one part of they, that many, because I've re, I read a lot of these studies, so they're confused that the Western medicine docs come out of this and say, how is it possible that we gave these guys sugar pills and their, their situation improved by 35%? How's that happen? They're taking sugar pills, okay? It's because that person believed that was not a sugar pill. They believed that that was medicine, it was gonna help their bodies improve and because they believe that they send that message to the quantum realm, the genie says, oh, okay, let's fix that, boom. And they get results. It's baby steps towards this, but that's how it works. And so what Dr. Cook has done is put this together in such a way and tied a lot of models and systems to make this work. Now, information energy, corollary. So Dr. Cook takes a botanical or a substance like vitamin C. And I've seen him do this. He's got technology that does itself. It's patented. Some of it's proprietary. And he actually can capture the very energy corollary information of that botanical. He puts it in an algorithm, puts it in the cloud. You select vitamin C on your uh, smart device, phone or computer or, or, or a tablet, and you select vitamin C because you want some of that, okay, and making this easy. It dumps it off to the, into the quantum world at a place called zero point. Now, the zero point is imagine this gigantic wagon wheel and every one of us is a spoke. Our energy field, who we are, our hologram, is one spoke in that gigantic realm. So we're all connected. Every time you think a thought, by the way, you create a new field. And you know why? Because intelligence actually puts in motion electrons to create that. The reason why we have our present reality in our world is because the collective emotional thought of humans, which are intelligences, is actually programming the quantum world to deliver us the reality that we have, to deliver the reality that we have. It's a collective it, it, a collection of all the intelligences on Earth. Can you imagine if we did this the right way and that we all emoted all the right and good things like love? That, see, see, I believe it is possible if we have enough of us doing this in the right direction, that's how we bring heaven to earth. Because just think if we imagined creating and thinking of that kind of a situation, we could actually create it collectively. That's how heaven comes to earth. Now, in the meantime, hey, we get some other things to do. Let's make us well first. Let's make us prosperous first, okay? And let's take baby steps. What Dr. Cook put together is the ability for us to first of all identify the botanical. We started there first because that's the first sandbox, easy to do, everybody understands botanicals. And so we select that, it comes to that wagon wheel, okay, in the quantum world, the genie. It's delivered to us because our spoke, the way that I interpret this, our spoke that's connected to the quantum world is uh, the, the, the subconscious realm, okay? So the subconscious realm is tied to our consciousness, and, and the gatekeeper that is the guy that makes this all happen is the limbic system. That's why we're called the limbic arc. It arcs from the subconscious to the, to the conscious. Once it arrives at the conscious mind, we've received the mail. You know that thing that you've got mail? Well, when it gets to the conscious, you've got the mail. And that's when the magic happens because that inf that's information. It's information correlated to the botanical. At the quantum realm, our bodies, the energy and information, everything's at that the lowest building blocks of our reality. Electrons and protons and neutrons, subatomic stuff, okay? 
and, and it knows exactly what's in that vitamin C and everything about it. Now, one of the freak one of the frequencies might be a phytochemical in that, but the whole formula is the information. Okay. And so that information, the body says, oh, okay, this is what I need. In the, because we were created in this physical or in this presence, there's certain information that our bodies has to harvest. Our bodies at the quantum realm were made to harvest information. At the biochemical world, it's made to harvest biochemicals from food, from supplements, from our environment, okay? But if you break those things down, what they're made up of, we start getting in that quantum realm, and, and at the end of the day, it's information that we're harvesting. And that's, that's why this stuff works, and why many things we take at, on the physical botanical world, okay, sometimes doesn't handshake because it's not getting through. Because of our modern life, what we're doing, all the things that can interfere with it, stress and sugar and our, our microbiome being out of, out of whack, um, all the toxins we have in our body if from, from our foods, from our uh, preservatives in our foods, the, the, the chemicals they spray in the, the farm fields, the, even chemtrails. We know now by government officials, they come out and say, yeah, okay, we've been spraying this stuff up there you call chemtrails. It's got aluminum and stuff. We've been doing that for geoengineering. Well, at the end of the day, it's still aluminum. And, and tests show that we have 100 times amount in our body that we should have, okay? And aluminum is not good. We weren't meant to have aluminum in our bodies, okay? Just think, think just, just expand this a little bit further. What would happen if you have now, we know uh, from another study, Dr. Klinghart, uh, 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 it shows that, okay? Um, if we, we have all this aluminum in our body and then all of a sudden we turn on 5G. Now 5G, you have to understand 5G is frequency range. Go ahead and wrinkle up some aluminum foil, throw it in your microwave, turn it on and see what happens. Okay, 5G is electromagnet, electromagnetic waves, high pitch, and, and it doesn't like, it, it'll make aluminum spark. Just think we had all the aluminum in our body and all of a sudden they turn on 5G. I don't think that's gonna end out well, okay? Um, but, but in any event, when we see indications, we have scientists right now, doing tests and showing this all around the world. In fact, they're closing down yesterday. I should have made a list of this. There is a half a dozen countries in Europe where they've now stopped the progress of 5G coming into their country because more and more information is coming out on the impact of that. Okay, now think of what we have here. Take a look at the fact that you can go in our health food store, but for example, for $100 a month, you're going to receive the, your own health food store. Hey, try this one. Go up to your local neighborhood health food store, GNC or whatever it might be, okay? Say, can I have this? So would you sell this to me for $100 a month? See what they'd say to you, okay? Well, guys, you have the ability to have that experience, but even better, I think, for $100 a month, okay? And you know why it's better? It's better because they can't tell you what your body wants and needs. This, the, the, the functionality of this technology can do that. And, and see, that's the reason why, you know, here I have had, now guys, I, I'm a formulator, I know biochemistry, I study every day, three, four hours a day, I'm involved in projects with research. And I've been doing this for 30 years, so I understand this stuff really well. And you, you would think that I would be one to figure out how to solve my asthma problem, okay? And, and, I, and I've read a lot of studies. I know, I've seen the dots being connected, I've tried different things. And I know a lot of that, there's a lot of different reasons why that can happen from your microbiome being unbalanced. Uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of reasons, okay? But you know, I solved that problem with something called a, a, a spark scan. Dr. Cook had created, is called a spark scan. And my body finally figured out, hey Ron, you've been way off here in the, over in the weeds over here. I know exactly what it needs. You need to take this stuff. And I did, you know, religiously, and after three and a half months, now that's disappeared. And it, it, it's the intelligence of my body interfacing at the information level it, that's correlated to those botanicals that it selected things in there that it exactly, it, knew, it knows it's intelligent, it knows exactly what it needs to balance itself. And I did that, I followed that, and bingo. That's the reason why the Spark Scan is my favorite info boost. It's like Christmas every 10 days when I get to run a new one and see what's going on, okay? And I do, I'm surprised every time. 
I say, oh, okay, this stuff went away. It's off the radar. But I got a few new ones here, but they, they make sense. Okay, but let's move this into, let's move this into another space. At your local health food store or any company that you might belong to that we belonged to in the past, we've all bought botanicals and used, I got closets full of them. Okay, but, but you know something? I've never been able to buy this. I've never been able to buy something in a health food store that's gone to resolve my electromagnetic exposure problem. Have you ever seen anything like that? I haven't. And, and so let's take a look at even that and where this is going and why this is significantly better than anything you've ever seen in your life. Okay, first of all, I know that this is better than anything that's botanical out there because of things I just talked about because we really get the information at the end of the day. I'm always looking at the lowest common denominator. Get to the root of the problem. You can't get to the root of the problem any better than with this technology, okay? Now, let's go ahead and, and let's add some more things to this health food store. Let's add things like uh, electromagnetic things that may expose us and, and all the different kinds, not just 5G or 4G or 3 or 2G, but, you know, Wi-Fi. Or, you know, things like electricity. You know, electricity can impact you negatively if you're sitting next to a wall, like this wall in back of me here. And, and I could show you, I have an electromagnetic machine here. that Actually, this is what it is right here, okay? I can determine the electromagnetics of anywhere I'm in, I'm holding this, from my phone to a wall. And you can rub it on a wall when you come across certain lines, electrical lines, you can get a, an energy field, electromagnetic field. If you stand by that or in, influenced by that, it actually is negative biology. All the research shows that, okay? Let's take a look at like infrared and microwave and radio wave and ultraviolet ray, uh, uh, rays. All these things are types of electromagnetic, even x-rays. And in fact, there is a study I hear read recently where x-rays actually can stay in your body because the information of x-rays, that energy, because it's energy, it's information, it's embedded and imprinted in liquid. We, I, that's what the study, I read it two weeks ago, and, and it's imprinted in liquid. Well, aren't we liquid? We're 70% water, aren't we? Okay, and, and no surprise, because the, see, this is some of the research that I do when I see something. I go, what's going on here? So when I had, a month ago, on my spark scan, x-ray come up. I'm thinking, geez, I haven't had any x-rays for a couple of years at, at the dentist for the x-rays like that. And I'm thinking, how am I? And it's, it was a high percentage, like 86%. I'm thinking, that doesn't even make sense. So I start doing more and more research and realize, in fact, it was just right after that that I found this research that says that x-rays can be imprinted in liquid for a long time and stay there and then influence negatively biology. Why do you think they put those lead things on you when you, you, you know, when they do x-rays and things? Well, apparently some of it still gets through, okay? Because in my case, it was there and it showed up as x-ray at 86%. So I selected it at, in my info boost, which is the countermeasure of stopping it. So I did that. 10 days later when I did, my, I did my info boost, the x-ray had dropped off the, uh, off the radar. In other words, it was not impacting me negatively anymore. Now, Think of this. Now, this has happened more than once. I've done it in 4G. I've done it in microwave or um, uh, Wi-Fi. All these things have showed up in my radar saying, hey, you got a problem here. I click them on and they either are reduced or they drop off the radar. Think of all the things happening in your life that are stressors to you that we don't even know is happening. We're affected by electromagnetics. We're affected by uh, stress. We're affected by sugar consumption. We're affected by toxins in our environment, in our foods. Are all these stressors come into our life and it has an impact, a negative impact on biology. And, and it's a lot of moving parts here. We have a tool, first of all, that identifies the fact you even have it in the first place. I mean, that's, that's a killer technology, okay? The next thing is to be able to use that information and create something that helps normalize it so it goes away. One of the other things that happen, you don't get this in a health food store. You don't get this in other companies selling a botanical. Okay, and you could be taking the best botanicals and eating the best food in the world because of the things that are affecting us in our modern day life. You are not having the handshake with it and it's like you didn't need it at all. And so you wonder why some people, when they take something, they have benefit and other people take it and they don't. You wonder why that happens. What happens 
because some people are handshaking and other people are not because you know some people have toxins and not toxins and they have different stressor points inflammation just inflammation something causes inflammation in the body can cause receptors not to handshake with with uh, nutrients i mean there's so many things that can do this okay so so let's take it to the next level so one of the other things that dr cook incorporated in this recently in the last month is uh, homeopathy now homeopathy has been a practice has been around for a long time it was tremendous value people have got tremendous value out of homeopathy the doctor we're, we're creating that influence in our offering here the first thing that dr cook put together he calls it imponderables but ones uh, he put in a whole line of things that are called fungus and mold now reason why that's important forever i've done a lot of research on this because i've been impacted by this over the years so i've done a lot of research more on that probably than any any other thing so i know the impact and the value of that and 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 so when that first came up and i saw this and i saw three ingredients in my radar it says hey you got this this and this of course they were names you can't pronounce okay but they're even when you click on them it'll tell you what they're for and it'll tell you that hey this is a fungus here's history about it and whatever Fungus and mold isn't really good in the body, okay? And so it in fact impacts people. People who have weaker immune systems impacts them more. And, and a study I read years ago where about six, 60 million people, they guesstimated in the United States are negatively impacted by fungus and mold. I think it's higher than that, okay? But nevertheless, when you see this stuff, think, oh, okay, on my radar, it says here's these two or three ingredients in, in the, percentages that are problematic anything any anything over 80 percent is going to be affecting you negatively maybe even 70 percent in some cases so you can select the, that name of the mold and and that you just turned it off okay so when the next time you do a spark scan eight days 10 days 14 days later however your cycle is um you'll discover what happens is that either that particular mold name is either been reduced significantly by importance or percentage, or it's just totally dropped off the radar. Sometimes it just disappears, okay? Just like that x-ray, in my case, disappeared when I ran one spark scan and 10 days later, it didn't show up anymore. Because, and, and, and it made sense on that other science that I was reading, the study it shows that it imprints, energy imprints in liquid. We're all liquid, we're so, we're these receptors that are so vulnerable to our outside influence, things that we don't see, influences. Electromagnetics is a big one. We, we are negatively impacted by that. We have an instrument here, a tool, that now allows us to identify it and help us resolve and normalize that problem. That got, that just that alone is just an amazing thing. Now, where we're going with this, where we're going with this is, first of all, we started out with botanicals, and the botanical database will continue to expand. Um, it's not expanding as fast as I want to. And, and I've talked to the company about that. And they said, well, we're, you, you'll see that be resolved in the near future. We're doing something to be able to bring on a lot more stuff because, and, and they won't tell me the reason for it. They always surprise me, okay? So, but in any event, there's a lot more stuff coming on more, even much more than what we already have. It gives our, our bodies the ability to find stuff that at once it needs to solve the problem. For example, the reason why I'm so excited about this, I happen to go back through my personal spark scans to try to figure out how is it that when I started this process, I had I had asthma as bad as I've ever had. And, and, and then well, what's that mean? Well, I had this pressure in my chest. I had uh, coughing all the time. Uh, I could not I lose my breath uh, with the exercise. I have none of that today. So I wanted to see what could have caused that? Now, they still back analyzing all the ingredients every 10 day cycles of what my body was selecting and trying to connect dots to find out. And I, and I connected this dot. There was one botanical in there that was really mysterious to me, one that most people don't know about. It's an herb called Lomatium, L O, uh, Lomatium, L O M A T I U M. Okay. And, and it's designed for removing deep seated microbes, fungus, bacteria, and mold in the lungs. That was the key. I'm thinking, aha. And, and when I was reading about this science, they're showing that it, th these, these um, microbes are the microbes that, that hide under mucus. 
and the immune system can't get to them. And, and, and this herb historically had been used to do that. So I tried this. It scored very high in the beginning. And it kept on going lower and lower until it finally dropped off the radar. And when it dropped off the radar, I had no more asthma symptoms. So for me, possibly that's what was going on. That's the, the dots I connected. Now, with this gentleman that came on here earlier from Israel, to, now, I just want to get on this because we're running out of time here. Okay. This is a heart and circulatory uh, formula that I put together and assembled from the research of a whole bunch of docs that have used these botanicals historically in settings where people got tremendous results. And by the way, some, getting on the subject here, one of the things they discovered in these studies that there is an impact, which I didn't know this, this is somewhat new. They're saying, we knew that there was an impact on microbial or pathogenic microbials in almost any part of the body, including heart and circulatory, but they didn't realize that it was this big of an impact. And they discovered that it is a more significant impact than they ever knew. So the, these antimicrobial things that we're doing may have the ability to affect and help us in other areas like uh, heart and circulatory health. So here's the ingredients. Now, we will come out with this, okay? We'll put it on one of our sites. It won't be in the Olympic Art site, but this is a way to get new cutting edge stuff. And here's what the ingredients are. We don't have time to go through all of them. Here's um, alphabetical order, alpha lipoic acid, calcium, chromium, CoQ10, curcumin, d ribose EDTA. I wish I could tell you, because I have so much stuff on each one of these. EDTA, fish oil, flaxseed oil, folic acid, garlic, uh, ginkgo biloba, green tea, Google, not the Google, uh, the Google Earth, but G-U-G-G-U-L. -G -G uh, it's a, a South American uh, herb. Uh, Hawthorne berry, L-arginine, L-carnitine, nanokinase, uh, niacin, nitric oxide, uh, pine bark extra, potassium, quercetin, selenium, serpeptate, sodium, taurine, vitamin A, B6, B12, um, vitamin C, vitamin E to tocotrienols, which uh, I know the, 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 the doctor, he's the foremost doctor who developed vitamin A tocotrienol research. I know him personally, good friends with him, vitamin K2 and zinc. And then also I left out protease and vitamin D3. Now this formula has some things in here that also have an impact on microbes as well. So they use the ingredients in here in a bunch of different formulas with people, hundreds in some cases and thousands and others, with tremendous abilities to, uh, th their health improves significantly. Let's just say that, okay? So these formulas that we, we, we put together out here, they weren't just a creation. Hey, these are good things historically used that, that have been good for a heart or heart. No, these are based on a lot of research uh, at least on the botanical form. Now, we're not, we can't make any claims, okay? This, these botanical research information into the corollary information that our information is tied to the botanicals, okay? Because there's no research on our information other than everybody on these calls with your testimonies and your, we have some clinical evidence and anecdotal. That's where we're at right now. It works, and at the end of the day, we have something that no one else in the world has. Now, one last thing, and I'll bring it to a close here, and that is the fact that we are moving down a path. Now, we don't have this yet, but I'm, Dr. Cook understands this, and I've met with him on this many times. We started out just doing botanicals. That's a great place to be. We have a major competitive advantage. But we, we've now added, we've gone into homeopathy and the imponderables that, that allow this to expand far beyond botanicals. The last frontier here, okay, the last frontier is when we go into emotions. I believe it's going to be a game changer simply because emotions play a major role in our well-being, our health, and what we attract in the future to our reality. Dr. Bruce Lipton on the internet, phenomenal doctor out there, tells our story, basically says that in our subconscious, if you don't like the way your life is going, it's because you have a program that's playing, sending your intelligent message to the quantum world, which is the genie of stuff that's negative. You're attracting that, and it also impacts your health. We first of all have to find out what that stuff is. We don't know what it is. Now, we as hypnotherapists, we can find it. It's easy to do that. But only one-tenth of one percent of the world even know how to do this, okay? And so now, down the road, when Dr. Cook comes out with the imponderable emotional components of this, First of all, we'll, we'll find 
that we have stuff in us that our body's saying, oh man, you got this stuff over here, we have identified it, now let's provide the countermeasure. What do you think the opposite of fear would be if you're thinking fearful thoughts? Well, it'll probably be love. In fact, I think love's probably gonna fix a lot of things, okay? But at the end of the day, we're gonna be able to provide this stuff. Think of this, you do a spark scan, and it gives you the botanical things the body needs. And on top of that, now you're going to be receiving the emotional fixes. And let's say that all of us are emoting and picking love, and we had a million of us out there because we're a billion dollar company, and we're emoting love through our spark scans. That's how I believe we bring heaven to earth because we are creating a reality, people thinking the right way. And, and what Dr. Cook put together here are, is a tool that can allow us to make this easy, this is, you ever see this book, Something for Dummies? That's kind of what they need for Olympic art because the, Dr. Cook created something here that the average guy in the street can use and get major benefit as we tap into the quantum realm and all these areas that are mysterious and made it scientific and it provides benefits. He's connected the dots, made the things work. And, and, it, and all of us, we've all had these tremendous experiences, even though it looks like it's smoke and mirrors, it, it, when you boil everything down to the lowest common denominator, it's energy information. You can't see it. It's invisible, just like you're impacted by your electromagnetics. Electromagnetics, you can't see it, it and yet it affects you negatively, okay? We have the counterbalance to solve these problems. So it looks like I've run out of time here, so I'm going to turn my time back to you guys for any further questions you might have. Hey, Ron. Um Gosh, man, we're, we're blown away. You should have seen all the comments. I bet we had 200 comments while you were, uh, uh, you didn't get to see those, but phenomenal job uh, for sure. And in fact, let me do this because I didn't have my screen on. Hey, there we are. We're talking face to face now, even though we're social distancing, aren't we? But a uh, um, couple of things, just so you guys know, um, it takes some time to go through the edit process of this. It has to be processed, it has to be rendered. So uh, this information will be up tomorrow on quantumnomads.info, which is our Facebook page. So all of this information, um, for those of you that didn't absorb 100% of it, <laughs> I laugh because that was great, Ron. Uh, so many great comments. But um, a question that I have uh, on this is you had mentioned um, that why doesn't it work for some people? You mentioned toxins digestion, inflammation, uh, nutrient competition. Now, how about this one? And, and I want you just to, um, to go, I'm, I'm totally catching you off guard, but what about stress? How does that uh, affect us and our uh, ability to, uh, um, what do you call, um, accept nutrients? You call it a uh, handshake. Yeah, so, so you, you, the things that affect all of this, you mentioned, you know, there's toxins, there's a whole bunch of different kinds of toxins. And, and stress, uh, stress is right up there with sugar. Sugar and stress, wow. high sugar consumption and stress stops your immune system. It just totally stops it. So if you, if you ate a lot of sugar right now, sit down with a lot of sugar, the next two hours, your immune system stops. Now, if you have bad guys living in you, and we all do, they'll proliferate and grow because the immune system took a break. It's like, okay, the soldiers are there right there, but hey, we're going to take, take a two hour uh, siesta. And so the pathogens can grow. If you eat a lot of sugar, you, many people get sick days later because now the pathogens took over because your immune system shut down. You know, the, the thing that keeps us from being dead is our immune system. You look at a, you look at a, a dead deer on the side of the road, okay? And, and after a few weeks, it's gone. All those critters that are there digesting that deer are still in that deer, but it's the immune system that keeps them at bay. Okay, the immune system is the biggest part of why we are alive and healthy to a certain degree. So everything we can do to boost the immune system is what we're doing here. We, we provide, we're providing tools that the immune system needs to run all eight cylinders. Wow, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna check with uh, Daniel because he's the moderator of this call. He was just having some challenges. Are you back with us, Daniel? Is your uh, internet stable? Okay. All right. We'll, we'll, we'll just uh, keep going. What time do we got? I'll tell you what, here's one thing, guys, this hour for me went by the fastest that any of our calls have ever been. Ron, you've been just, it was awesome. 
and and the more that we learn this from you the better off we'll be so i appreciate all the testimonies at the beginning um and uh, just so you guys know since we've got you know still over 150 on the call even still is make sure that you go to our facebook page which is quantum nomads and you can go to quantumnomads.com to get there and become a part of that family that group and we'll go over all of the tools that we have available on that and dot info uh quantumnomads.info like i said that's our facebook page where we put in our individual uh testimonies up on there and some other information but be part of our uh telegram chat as well um our channel because you want to make sure that you get this information to you and out to others so they don't miss any of these calls can you imagine everyone that would could have been on here today and got this information it was mind-blowing so guys uh i, I mean i i don't want to to uh, bring this to an end but uh, all good things must come to an end tomorrow uh we have uh, carl hovitzen and carl is going to be doing our super boost saturday we're going to start the same way with people sharing their their uh uh, go to booths and it's going to help all of us it, that was helpful at the beginning for me to hear different people and what their go to's are and then uh, we'll be back on Sunday seven days a week at 3 p.m. Eastern we're here and we're going to be sharing testimonies and stories and successes and all those kind of things so man I, I really don't want to bring this to an end but Ron uh, appreciate you so much being on here with us and sharing with us your knowledge and uh, maybe in a uh, what probably about uh, 15 to 20 years maybe we can uh, get that information that you've uh, been able to to glean in the last 30 but uh, you know we'll have you on here again uh, next week for formula Friday and appreciate you and co-laboring with you in this cause and in this movement bud. any last words well uh, what's what's that what's that phrase that Daniel always says at the close what we can't do alone, we can do together. I think that's good. <laughs>